look up to the star sky and do some stargazing. With us today, he is the president of the Lima Astronomical Society. We've got Michael Ritchie. He's also with Schooner Observatory because the society takes care of that. And you're here to tell us about stargazing and stuff. So thanks for coming today. Well, thank you, Holly. All right. So first of all, let's learn a little history in case people don't realize over in Schoonover Park, there's an observatory, and you guys run it for the city, right? Yeah, uh, the Lyme Astronomical Society uh, was founded back in 1952 uh, through a, a junior high school student. Uh, we met at different various places around town and had a nice little club, and then in 1963, uh, money became available for Schoonover Park, and so we got letters of recommendation from city council, uh, other prominent people, and we were able to get the observatory built. So that was actually finished in 1964. So Lima has had an observatory there at Schoonover Park since 1964. Wow, and so, we're unique, right? I mean, we're lucky to have this because not every city has one. No, not too many. There's only three that I know of around the country that actually have their own observatory that's club run. So mm -hmm. we're quite unique in that aspect. Right, exactly. Yeah. And so you guys are generous enough, you know, to get the upkeep and keep it going and open it up for people to stargaze. And in the summertime, it's on Friday nights, right? Yep, every Friday night from June through the end of September. And then sometimes we even go into October. It depends on how many people are coming out uh, at nine o'clock uh, right now since we've went past the solar uh uh, solstice, solstice yeah. or the summer solstice, I should say. Uh, the nights are starting to get a little bit longer, so it's getting a little bit darker at 9 o'clock. Uh, when they come out at 9, if they come right at 9, we start showing them some stars that we can see, and then as it gets darker, we see more and more objects. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, what is it that you could typically see on a, on a good night? Oh, uh, uh, just about everything. Stars, double stars, asterisms, uh, nebulas, galaxies, exploding stars, all kinds of different objects so we can see. Planets normally, now all of our planets are lined up in the morning sky before the sun rises, so right now we're not seeing any. But last Friday, uh, we had people staying until almost 2 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> so we were able to actually see Saturn and Jupiter oh. as they came around and came above the horizon. Right. How fascinating yeah. is that? Yeah, it's really neat. Yeah. All the wows we get from people look at the first time <laughs> through Saturn with the rings. I bet. And you guys are lucky enough you've gotten some grant money, right? So what does that mean? What are you guys going to well, do? We're not quite sure yet what's going to happen with it. Uh, I haven't met with the mayor yet. We've been kind of playing uh, phone tag and stuff on to set up a meeting. Uh, the money, uh, the state uh, capital budget uh, management uh, place had opened up uh, the budget this year for nonprofit organizations. And so we got an announcement from uh, Senator Huffman from Lima here, the Senate president, to apply for it. And so I applied. That was the hardest thing I'd ever done. All the, <laughs> all the things that you have to go complicated, through. Complicated, isn't it? Yes. But I was able to obtain $250,000 for awesome. uh, upkeep of the observatory. So we need to get with the city then to find out exactly what it is we're going to do. Mm -hmm. The money originally was set up to, to eliminate some trees around the observatory that blocked the public's view. Mm -hmm. And then to put some better heating and air conditioning in the observatory. Uh, expand the parking lot because we have a big event coming up in two years, the total solar eclipse. So we want to get that parking lot expanded a little bit, plus some other up updates of mm -hmm. the observatory. Right, yeah. Yeah, really, there's some big things happening yeah. here in the future yeah, with hopefully that. Hopefully the city will allow us to use some of that money then to build our dark sky observatory out at Kendrick Woods. Oh, that would That's be nice. That's something we've been planning to do for a couple years now mm -hmm. right yeah exactly so if someone's interested can they join the club can they be part yep. of the it's it's easy to join they can come out on a friday night and join there or we can go online to limaastro.com uh there's membership information there and they can use their credit card or, or um paypal right. or whatever or they can um Go to the Facebook page and contact one of us, and we can get and them get set, them up, set up, up for membership. All right. And they're quite 
inexpensive. Family membership's only $25 a year. That is really nice. All right, well, thank you very much, Michael, for coming. Thank Hopefully you. people will come on out and stargaze yep, at Schoonover. Come on out and view the wonders of the universe. Exactly. All right, don't go away. Noon Edition continues in a moment. Don't miss out on the fun. 